Welcome to Spring Insight for Operations, an exciting and unique product available for Java and Spring developers. In this demo, I'm going to show you how we can take a Spring application, an application built in Java using Spring, running on the vFabric TC server application server, and how we can leverage those technologies to give us insight in both development and production environments. The Spring Travel application that we're looking at here follows a fairly natural e-commerce flow. We're searching for a hotel, we're picking a hotel, and we're booking a room for a stay, adding our credit card and completing the transaction. What's unique about Spring Insight is that it bridges the gap between system administrators, operations teams, and developers. Spring Insight is available for developers on their developer platform on their workstation, integrated into their development environment. The exact same information is also available to system administrators. Let's take a look how Spring Insight actually works so we can get a good understanding for what it does. We're going to complete our transaction here so we can record some data for Spring Insight to show. We're logging in to Spring Insight. Spring Insight integrates with Active Directory and LDAP servers for a seamless authentication process. Once logged in, Spring Insight takes us to the home page. This is our overview console to see how our production environment is doing. We can look at applications in the application pane. It shows us that applications that have been active in a certain time frame. The home page application, which just showed up, means it had a transaction occur fairly recently. We can look at servers. What are the servers that are participating in my monitoring group? Anything that shows up within the last 15 minutes, which is the time frame I defined, will be recorded in my session and I can view it as if it was live data. The application health trend panel shows the applications, the health trends, and the throughputs. The throughput is measured in traces per minute. The health trend is a trend whether the application is performing stable, it's getting worse, or it's getting better. And it shows this in a color-coded bar. We can get the exact same information for the servers that are participating in our cluster. Here we can see that between the Booking MVC application and Welcome to TC Runtime homepage, we have two servers, and each of them are spitting out a throughput, traces permitting, a health trend, and a color-coded bar to see how they're doing. The Aptex Alliance has helped define measurements. It creates a standard for how we interpret results. When we go through the Spring Insight demo, we're going to see transactions that are frustrated, transactions that are doing excellent or good. All these definitions are part of the Aptex Alliance. You can view it yourself at aptex.org. Let's troubleshoot our application. We're going to see here that the application has a couple of bottlenecks or a couple of abnormalities, something that would be extremely hard to find out in an existing application, mostly because we don't track the data in a way that is viewable. We can see the booking MVC application is not dark green, it's light green. It means it's doing well, it's doing good. That's the definition of it. We'll dive into that application and it gives us some information on how that application is performing. It gives us our health trend. It shows us our endpoints. Endpoints are pretty much actions performed on the server. They're divided in by a component logic. Finally, it shows how the application is showing 
on the service itself. Here we have highlighted some endpoints. We have a hotel controller show that is clearly showing a slower performance throughput than the other endpoints. The throughput measured in tra traces per minute and the response time measured in time. If we look at the servers that this application is deployed on, we can see that there's one server that's performing very well and another server which is showing a yellow bar. Let's dig in and find out what is wrong with the booking MVC application on this server itself. Now we're filtering by application and by server. We're slowly digging down into the root cause of this problem. We find one endpoint that shows a lower throughput, traces per minute, and a very high response time compared to the rest of the application. If we dig into that controller, and this is at the level a developer understand his code. He understands that I have an action that's called show hotel. I understand what that action does. What about a system administrator? He doesn't know any Java. Still, an endpoint is a logical point and part of the flow. We can see how the transactions for this endpoint, or the traces per minute, have a great variation. So let's look, t look at our response time histogram. It shows how our transactions, or our traces, are spread out over time and response time. We have over 400 traces that show frustrated. These thresholds are, of course, configurable on a per endpoint basis. If we click at the frustrated traces, it will give us a list sorted by most recent invocations to a certain endpoint. It shows us the duration it took for that invocation. If we select a specific invocation, we can dig in and dive into an individual call. We're no longer just presented with the information that, hey, there's something going wrong with your server. We can dig down into a logical breakdown of what is happening. We can see that there's the hotel's controller show. It starts a transaction. That transaction performs a database query. This query took 99% of the response time. So what was wrong with that specific query? Why didn't all of them take that long? Well, we know when it happened. We can also find out what the actual query is. It gives us the SQL statement, and it gives us the data that we pass in. We can now recreate this query or we can trace it back to the database. We know the parameters that were passed in, we know the SQL. It also shows us where it got this trace. Based on the source code, the class name and the method name that were executed. For our test application, we have induced a fake or an artificial delay when it's executing queries and we introduce that at a random points in time. We can also tackle the problem from a different point of view. If we look at the recent activity, we can see the trace history over time and the response times for that trace history. Simply moving your cursor over will give you a hint, a tip, and you can trace down into durations based on endpoints for that specific period of time. When we do this analysis for a trace that happened just a few minutes ago, we can come to the same conclusion. In this trace, we did have the same query with the same parameter that didn't perform very well. What is unique about this? 
This seems like a fairly standard analysis. One is that we define our thresholds based on endpoints. These endpoints are logical components for the Spring developer. A developer that uses Spring is no longer worried about HTTP requests or what is a transaction or how many JDBC queries am I executing. Everything is based off an endpoint. This means that we can instrument Spring integration applications, Spring batch applications. In our case, it's a Spring MVC application. The unique point about this is that Spring Insight hides the complexity of the Java language and the monitoring of such a language and shows it in a way where a Spring developer can communicate with a system administrator. It is also providing real-time information, hiding endpoints and hiding information that is not present. If we extend our time frame from 15 minutes to an hour, we're able to see traces that happen for up to an hour. Here we can see that we've also invoked more applications in the last hour. One application showing red of a very high response time. This was the response time when the application got initialized. It happened about an hour ago, and since then, the application has been doing fine. Actually, it hasn't had a single invocation. That, my friends, is Spring Insight. Please try it, and if you have any questions, we're here to answer them.